In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the source attribute in your HTML to define the source of images in your HTML documents, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. We have a simple HTML page mocked up right here. We have what it looks like in the browser down below. And the source attribute is used to define images. And so whenever we have an image tag, if we want to have an image appear on the page, we have an image tag, but we also then need to add the source attribute. In shorthand, it's just SRC and then equal sign. And we have open and close quotations. And in between the quotations, we have a URL to an image. Either it's an absolute URL like you see here, or you could have it be a if you have the image on the same server as the website, you have it be a relative URL where you don't actually have the domain name at the beginning. So either URL works. The, the absolute URL I find is always the safest because it will show up no matter what. If you have even the wrong folder, if you start the wrong folder here relative to where the image is on your server, the image can break. It might take a few uh, trial and errors to actually get the right relative URL. So I usually stick with the absolute. But uh, when you have the source attribute defined correctly with an image URL that works, we see an image appear down here. WP Learning Lab is another one of our properties where we teach WordPress. Uh, but this is the logo for that property. And it appears here because we have our image and our source attribute set correctly. Now, if we didn't have this, the, the image set correctly, so for example, I'll just delete the G at the end. Now it's going to break. And we're going to see that nothing appears. You may even see a little box. Oh, there's the box. It's a little box with a broken image symbol there. And that's how it looks when you didn't do it properly. So if you get this little box appearing, you did something wrong, you got to go back, try again. And when it works properly, you get the image appearing. And that's how easy it is to use the source attribute in your HTML to create images in your HTML documents. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.